Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam Ala rasulillahi sallallahu alaihi wa sallam A dear view of Salam TV It is always an honor to have you Watch us on our favorite show The Al-Hidaya show that comes to you every Monday And Thursday from 3 to 4 o'clock My name is Muhammad Sekalala Your host for the show and uh, in the Thursday episodes, we always look at uh, Islam and the social system of communities. How does Islam <coughs> provide guidance on how communities and uh, people should live their lives socially in the social setup? So uh, today being the 21st of November 2024, I want to inform all those that have been following us that are next this weekend on Sunday inshallah the 24th of November we shall be having a program that we have been uh, talking about which is the ladies outing that's organized by uh, a, a group of ladies in the women's department of Al Hidayah Foundation so inshallah uh, today the 21st of November 2024 we want to look at uh, what benefits uh, come to family members when they engage in recreation activities. In the last episode we looked at recreation as uh, a, a, hol a holistic, uh, uh, in a holistic approach in, in the Islamic definition of it where we said your recreation should be able to cater for the body, mind and the soul. If your activity you're engaging in does not balance the three then there's something that is also uh, missing out on the menu that you have done as a recreation activity. So. Many times we go for aerobic sessions, we go for eh, workouts, we go for sports, games in different environments. But if you tick the box, do they align with the three areas, the body, mind and soul? If you're working out on the mind largely, then you have forgotten the soul. If you're working on the body and mind, then the soul has also. If you also, uh, we are told that most of the activities in Islam are uh, we do them to build the spiritual well-being, which is the soul. So we want to tell you that in the holistic definition of recreation, you should aim at three things, the body, mind, and soul. And that is what we looked at greatly in the last episode of the show. So inshallah, today we want to continue with the discussion and see what should be in terms of the package when you go for a recreation activity. Inshallah to help us and uh, help us discuss and appreciate this concept of recreation in Islam generally and specifically to the marriage uh, partners or the members of the marriage institution. We are joined by our guest who is uh, ma Madam, Mrs. Teacher, Coach Nagorajana Tiyahaya, whom I'm going to request to say salam to you and then we see how to proceed with our discussion. You're most welcome, madam. Thank you. Uh, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Praise be to Allah, the omnipotent, <coughs> the most merciful, and blessings and peace be upon his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Salam TV, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah. Um, Janatia is my name, a teacher, a mentor, and a positive parenting ally, CEO Mind Your Child, an executive member of Al Hidayah Foundation, Women's Department. I'm honored to be with you uh, this evening. Thank you very much. Uh, so, viewer, wherever you are, we appreciate you, those in West Nile, those in the eastern part of Uganda, those in the west, uh, in the central part here, in the diaspora, we appreciate you so much. And uh, remember, if you missed out on some of the content that uh, you needed to hear in this show, kindly visit the Salaam uh, YouTube page, type and Hidayah, and then you'll be able to get uh, mm. of late. We have also going back to the Afro Mobile app, so kindly uh, download that app, include, uh, you, you, you can even uh, forward and rewind the content on the mm. Afro Mobile app. So if you've not yet got it, then kindly uh, go to your Google Play Store and then download the Afro Mobile app. Of course, those that are on start times and the other different uh, digital 
uh, satellite platforms. We want to appreciate you so much for always being part of the show. So Hajat has a recap in a minute or two. Mm. Uh, recreation as mm. a broad concept. Mm. What 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 are the things? If we look at the body, mind, and soul as the, mm. what should define our recreation? Mm. What, what what are those other coordinates of recreation that uh, the viewers should uh, perhaps uh, appreciate as we go into the benefits in a mm. more detailed phase? Yes. Okay, recreation. Last time for those who are not on on air, yes. it was basically about those permissible halal activities. I'm going to say permissible because mm. I presume that we are talking about it in the context of Islam. Yes, please. Yeah, those activities that give the body the body time to relax, mm. to to get joy, to rejuvenate, but also keeping the body, <coughs> the mind and soul in balance and then concurring with the boundaries of Islam. Mashallah. So yeah. in other words, we should appreciate the aspect of halal mm. and uh, Salam TV here we mm. treasure so much uh, things that are halal. We mm. will have a full uh, uh, programming on halal, mm. eating halal and living our lives in a halal way. So mm. uh, it is important to mm. note that as a Muslim, our lives are defined and uh, mm. run by the teachings and the uh, guide, like guidelines that are given to us by the Holy Quran mm. and the teaching of our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So halal. Mm. Uh, in some of the narrations, we are told that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Salah that uh, teach, mm. uh, teach your children uh, mm. uh, uh, games like horse riding, mm. swimming, mm. archery. Right? Yes. So uh, I think that was just a definition of some of the halal things we want to mm. people to appreciate. So there's a lot of things that you can engage in as opposed to uh, mm. keeping closed doors, indoors. And you know, at of late, we have so a mushrooming of uh, perimeter walls. I mm. don't know why that is the case of late. Mm. But you find whoever puts up a structure, the first thing is to close themselves in. Mm. Do, do, do you think uh, we are doing uh, justice to the aspect of recreation? As it by not allowing kids, by mm. not th there is hardly free movement in mm. and out of the home. Maybe it's, it depends on the situation now. You mm. see now the world is taking another direction whereby mm. people mm. these mm. days are brutal. No. Uh, people are doing activities, all sorts of brutal activities on the other people's children. Mm. People no longer take other people's children as theirs. Remember mm. it during uh, in the time immemorial, yes. a child could be raised by a village. It by took a village, a community, mm. to raise a child. But these days, even if you could find a neighbor mm. hurting the child of, okay. of another one. And yet in the true concept of it, we mm. would prefer being open to our neighbors because Islam even talks about it, uh, the relationship with your neighbor. Yes, so we may not say that they are doing bad to put the boundaries, mm. but you get some time. You be intentional on the time you for give recreation. your children yeah, for recreation. Because of it mm. should also involve giving children time to play. Mm. You find we are in squeezed up environments. And, mm. uh, so yeah. what, what will be the best things for to engage the kids in that kind of uh, mm, closed environment. Mm. Uh, I understand people have uh, very small spaces in their houses. Mm. So as a parent, you could consider, you, you, you should look at the fact that which, first of all, which type of games do you provide to your children? Okay. Because we know children have to play, but mm. these days uh, parents have a tendency. Mm. The only thing they cater about is uh, viewing maybe videos video course, games, video games uh, movies, tvs yeah, movies yes. and yet we should do it in <laughs> moderation because remember these children their brains are still growing mm. so you've got to give the give, give them some games that allow them to exercise their brains mm. for example reading mm. you encourage them to read on a daily basis okay. in order to grow that uh, brain muscle mm. the uh, comprehension okay. the comprehension bit of it mm. you give them uh, brain building games like blocks we have so many games for children mm. like uh, uh, l we have some board games okay. you can give them board games mm. you can give them uh, encourage them to r memorize the quran okay. you can give them some reading books we have uh, stories books that have stories of the prophet stories mm. of the swahabas mm. uh, general reading books so 
as a parent, uh, you can encourage them to go outdoors. However much you have a very small space, make sure that your children don't don't confine them in the house for the whole day. So Let them test the yeah, nature. Be there or it? Let them go and uh, enjoy. It so depends that. even on the age of the children. Mm -hmm. When they are still young, of course, they would need some monitoring mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. all you take away the those dangerous substances that mm -hmm. you see that mm -hmm. could could harm the children mm -hmm. and then okay you, you put a conducive environment for your children to play but make sure that your children have outdoor games at least uh, every day they are exposed to the outdoors because it also has its own impact on the development of the child psychological development mm -hmm. and physical development okay so uh, in terms of age which which ages do you think are, are able to have the games on their own without attention from the parents? Without attention? Mm -hmm. It even depends on the uh, type of games. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, if they are at home, yes. I presume the home is a safe place, yes, and the child can go out uh, at any age, uh, provided they are not very young, because the babies mm -hmm. who are still crawling... That is zero to uh, three years? Yeah, that is like zero to three years. They would need some supervision. Okay. Uh, because they could be exposed to a number of... Uh, uh, accidents mm -hmm. and then maybe from four mm -hmm. four to seven years a child can go out and play okay. make sure you don't have those uh, predisposing factors like the ditches open ditches mm -hmm. some parents have septic tanks maybe okay. make sure it's covered mm -hmm. the open wells some others wells dug wells at home mm -hmm. you make sure it's uh, it's covered oh. yeah they can't go cross the road maybe because I've seen a girl, she was like three years, mm. and then they they went into, they closed themselves into a car, and then they suffocated. They were there for long, and then on reaching her, maybe she had got some mental issues. Up to now, a girl is like in teenage age, mm. but she got some damage on her brain, sorry, and sorry, she's sorry. paralyzed all over. So make sure that you supervise, and also create a conducive environment for your children to play depending but on their ages. I, th I think there's another, some other thing I pick from there. Mm -hmm. um, I think parents will need to be intentional in uh, mm -hmm. training the grown-ups to mm -hmm. better look at their, at their siblings. siblings. Because yeah. there's a case where the, this family they left uh, some 11-year-old and then 8-year-old and the kids in the house. But coming back we found the kid no, actually, it was a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Mm. And what is interesting, <laughs> mm. they found the three-year-old bleeding and Spend asking the, the six-year-old. I also don't know what happened, but on serious mm. probing and, you know, the African style of uh, mm. getting information of that, mm. this kid finally said, ah, he will hit the, the kid was playing and mm. then he hit himself on the door. And I went, mm. Right? Mm. So I think the issue of uh, this mm. intentional training and mm. what, what would call positive instilling positivity and mm. showing this kid that if you're to play this, that we do it and this is the smart way of playing. I yeah, the smart so way of doing it. And also, parents, you should also engage in playing with your kids. Oh. Because the Prophet uh, uh, mm. emphasized us so much to play with our children from zero to seven years. Okay. And we also, he even did it with his grandchildren, mm. Hussein and Hassan and Hussein. So it means as a parent, don't mm. say that these are children, they've got to play on their own. Mm. That's why even when you go out, you'll find a, a father racing with the kids, mother racing with the kids. So as a parent, also engage in playing with your children and also yeah, input, input that responsibility into the elder ones, as you said, to look after their young ones, the young ones. all the people, yeah, your support system, the maids, yeah, you, you emphasize it so much. So, uh, so dear viewer, we are looking at the benefits of recreation. We are starting mm -hmm. on uh, what, are kind, what are some of the things we need to take into consideration in mm -hmm. terms of recreation. Mm. Number one, we have noted that of late, we mm. have so many perimeter mm. walls. We have created artificial prisons, if mm. I may so so, but based on the changing times and it is a necessary evil, mm. and uh, you have an option for it. Mm. But now, the aspect of the parents being intentional in mm. training their kids, showing them mm. uh, how to do the games well, and then also, mm. I think it also goes to the issue of you the parent determining some of the games for the kids. For the kids, because, yeah. Because uh, 
like you mentioned earlier, that people leave kids to the television sets, mm -hmm. and you find there are these uh, games or movies that are mm -hmm. going to only show the violent aspects. Not age appropriate. Wrestling. Wrestling. Mm -hmm. And you find these kids want to mm -hmm. try it out. Mm -hmm. Action but movies. Other, action mm -hmm. movies. Horror. Are just horror. Mm -hmm. And yes. you find things are going to be very bad. Mm -hmm. So, they are parent. Uh, uh, one, one time I was here with a guest and he told us that parenting is a full time job. It's not mm. something you're going to mm. say, I'll, I'll, I'll do it and then. Today I'm off. I'll, I'll leave people in a self drive mode. Rather, mm. you have to be there fully. Mm. If you're not there, at least there's someone that you have uh, mm. uh, put as an agent to help you with the issue of ensuring that parenting is done in the mm. most uh, suitable and perfect way. Mm. Um, so, we have looked at kids. Mm. Uh, somebody would say that uh, if I don't have exposure to these games, mm. to, for the kids per mm. se, mm. at all different ages, what should I do in the circumstances? Because mm. perhaps I've also grown up in a situation where I was in boarding. Mm. You know that of late kids go to boarding as young as nursery school, yes, at university. Yes, now that do. person enters a marriage. Mm. Now they don't have exposure to the games, even at the the different schools, they were not engaging in games and sports at school, mm. so they have no idea whatsoever. Mm. What should, what, what should be, th uh, what should they do to see mm. that they identify the age appropriate games and mm. also engage with their kids for their children. Yes, uh, the the moment you the problem with parents these days, yes. they don't they don't want their children <coughs> to be bored. You find a parent saying, ah, oh, my child is going to be bored, now she's in the holiday, what will she watch? Mm. That's why they resort to TVs, the movies, the video games. But you leave the children to be bo bored. Let them be bored, however much you don't have those specific it's games it's that you've bought for them. Yeah, it's going to, them yeah, to prompt like them to be creative. They are going to create their own games. Mm. Have you ever seen children in a group seated and, and they are like, we don't have what to play? They are going to be creative. They are going to create uh, hide and seek games. They are mm. going to even make the, fo the footballs themselves maybe out of fiber, out of whatever. So the moment you leave children to be idle, mm. they are all to be bored, they are going to create their own games. But the moment you always Watch occupy fine. them, with the movies, with the videos, with, their phones. They are, with the phones. They are just going to be addicted and then they are also not going to be creative because everything is programmed for them. Mm -hmm. They are watching movie per movie. They are even going to get obese because children don't have that time to go out and exercise. So that's why these days it's so common that children so much get diseases like um, like diabetes. Children are diabetic, mm. hypertensive. Mm. Uh, they don't get time to exercise their bodies and also to for their bodies to fully util utilize the foods they are eating. And yet even the feeding habits are not good. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, mm. like the aspect of prompting them, yeah, to keep them idle so that they can think they can create their them. own games. I think mm. it also reminds me that <laughs> if, if you if you left them, mm. either they are going to open up the cupboards or they are going to <laughs> they, they will yeah. find something to disorganize. They will explore. They Haven't you ever had children are uh, playing? They're like they can't be bored. By the way, of course, you, yeah. this time they will sit. Let's play. Now I'm the teacher. You're the ch your student. Let me gi give you work to do. And the next time you'll find them, I'm the mother. You're the children. You understand? So it's their brains are going to be working so much in this time they are bored. Mm. And then you'll be helping them to exercise their brains. Mm. Hence creating that innovativeness and creativity into them. So so did you, do, would you suppose the, the school of thought that says uh, as a parent I can also carry the play environment or the swings the the so mm. uh, is this role of a, a, a machine mm. put them in the compound or that will depend on the financial type yeah financial, financial your financial status and also on your uh, co on your your area, mm. the, the size of compound you, compound have, you have, and also being that if it's permanently yours, a permanent residence, then it will be okay, I would support it, because it's also an outdoor, okay. there are outdoor activities. I mm. guess, I see. Mm. Okay, so dear viewer, as we prepare to go for the break, we are looking at uh, benefits of recreation 
-hmm. marriage specifically we are looking at uh, if we handled it in a holistic way mm -hmm. we have item games for the kids games mm -hmm. for the elder for the aged the mother father in the home mm -hmm. we hope we are going to have a family uh, mm -hmm. that is in a that is balanced in terms of the body mind and mm -hmm. soul um, so as we pray to go for the break I want you to talk to us about the fact that um, mm. uh, this thing of uh, memorizing Quran and mm. but making a balance between mm. uh, what you would call the theological content and mm. then the, the conventional or secular mm. content. Mm. We find there is a lot of uh, trouble in mm. forms. Mm. If somebody decides to go the Quran, when the kid should be in Quran fully. And mm. there's no time for reading books about stories, uh, mm. like developing English grammar. Mm. So how should we balance the two in terms of so, bra brain development? Psychological development yeah. and uh, emotional development yes. of the child. Mm -hmm. So I would, first of all, talking about uh, memorization of the Quran. Mm. So should it's it be uh, whole package fully mm. and that's what the kid should uh, mm. go for from up to when they grow up or up to when they finish it yes okay each parent has a way of of the the way they want to do it with their children mm. i would say if you decide to do it at any age you decide to do it it's okay mm. because you have there is no prescribed age that this is when it is supposed to do it mm. but when doing it i would say it's okay for a child to go and memorize the Quran and mm. fully finish it and then do other things okay. because the quran is a, a, a the islam is a complete way of life okay. and in the quran there is a complete way of life mm. because when reading the quran a child is going to memorize but it will be very important and so good if a child goes ahead to understand the Qur'an. Yes. So I would prefer that these mm -hmm. schools that uh, teach Qur'an, the Tafid, if they could put a program whereby children don't just memorize but also understand the Qur'an. Quran. Because if they, the, in there, they are going to find a lot of aspects. There is nothing that, that the Qur'an did not talk about. Yes, yeah, the, if it's science, you're going to, to find it there. If it is geography, you're going to find it mm -hmm. there. If it is relating with nature, you're going to find it there. If it is sicknesses and, he, and treat him, treatment, you're going to find it in the Quran. So it's all about <laughs> understanding. You realize that when a child understands the Quran, these other parts of life, when they get out of that setting, yes. are going to be so much easier for them. So I have no objection of saying that. Maybe if they are reading the Quran, let them do other subjects. So, because so everything is yeah, in there. Actually, my, my main focus was on the fact that as a parent, mm. I'm interacting fully with these kids at home. Mm. I find there's a, a, a group of parents who are going to tell you that for me, my kid, if there's anything I want to teach them at home is the Quran. Mm. Uh, these things of giving them books to read about uh, mm. literacy, English, science, and the rest. Mm. They, they will do it at, 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 at school. At school. Mm. But like you have rightly stated, mm. that if somebody reads the Quran in mm. the Arabic text, mm. then it, it will have to go to the second step of understanding. Understanding it has its mm. translation mm. as a parent, your guide, make explanations. Yeah, because mm. as you've noted, Mm. The Quran has information in every aspect of life, whether it's mm. the science they study at school, whether it's mm. the social studies, whether it is the math, mm. all that. So, in fact, a parent could get some books that have stories that are within the Quran, within the Quran. so that they will help so much explaining what is in the Quran and also storytelling. Yes. You tell these children about those stories in the Quran as a parent, so it's going to also force you to understand more. Because there is no way you're going to tell them, memorize, memorize, mm. and yet for you, do, you, you, do, you can't even explain can't to, them. to them. So when they learn it in form of these stories, they, there is a way they are going to love it more. There is a way it's going to build on their psychological and emotional development. Okay. But when they just memorize it, they may not even work on it and also hate it. Okay, mm. thank you very much. Uh, dear viewer, we are looking at uh, mm. benefits of recreation in marriage. Mm. We hope that those that haven't yet uh, gone into the marriage institution, this mm. information is very important for you because mm. as we've noted as in the first covering this uh, series of uh, these topics, we have noted that uh, majority of the people going to marriage as a try and error game, right? And mm. they're not going to the opportunity to hear first hand of 
kind of the way they should relate with kids, with all mm -hmm. other stakeholders in the marriage institution. But we mm -hmm. hope that with what we are sharing, we should be able to uh, prompt you to think and mm -hmm. determine and intentionally determine how you are going to be running mm -hmm these different aspects when you mm. get into the marriage institution. Inshallah, we are going to stop for a very short break and then we'll be returning to continue the discussion. Eno Ye Salam TV Okubwa muanguzi o ino kuwa sede nga taiga Nebo ukula mafuta ngo kosa MTN Momo Ukuangula kwa ngu Kosa Momo up Obanyiga Star Emumu kaga tano star Satu ash Teka merchant coat Teka momu wendo kwa sente Teka momo pin Usasule Kongula kongula jureshani zi Moto kayo kati nsanyo fu Ida kati olina mukisa Ayuzo kwe wangu lila mobile room money Ni MTN Momo Good fun. When it comes to entertainment, here's TV's number one. Is everybody ready to go, go, go? We've got the zaniest characters to transport you away. The party is cracking, so why not come play? You're gonna love it. We've got so many channels and a ton of new shows, like Disney and Nickelodeon, where anything goes. <laughs> so live it up with DSTV. We bring the fun. You know we're number one. Salamwe kabude, oli muna businessi, oboli ne chitongole chuo buerezo wenja ulo, ngaweta gachimani kemo buri maka, mugwanga liona. Salam TV, ekulete dente kateka ya salamwe kabude, guno gwe mukisa gwofunye biotunda ne biokola, bilangi boku TV ya fenganzi, wamune mikutu ya femi gata bantu jona, uwe gate kumukade no bukade bwa balabi bafe, okweto lula Uganda yona. Era business yo ye yongero kumanyika ngabonyu mirwe muende ekisali dwako osobola okuganyirwa kwa na madala mukulanga ko tusubwo mukisa sema kisabu no gukuweredwa okumanya ebisinga wo tukubire korero kuzira musambu ziremu atanu munya nsambu mukaga ziro mwenda obazira musambu munana satu abiri musambu abiri muemu asatu munya salamu igabude ku salamu tv olutimbero olwemirembe Afromobile. 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 Where does it come from? That thing that makes us Ugandan. Some say it's in our history, in our culture, and in our hearts. In our warm smiles and vast miles of coffee. It's in our inherent pursuit to always be better, to never stop growing and glowing. We are a nation of sweat and skills, a nation of ideas and inventions. But what truly makes us Ugandan is our quest to invest in agro-business, manufacturing, tourism, infrastructure, health and education to improve the quality of life of Ugandans. That's what makes us Uganda Development Bank. Uganda Development Bank, inspiring development. Eno Ye Salam TV. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam. Ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A dear viewer, we always continue appreciating you for keeping it Salam TV and your favorite show, the Al Hidayah show that comes every Monday and Thursday. Uh, Mondays we look at Islam and science, uh, Thursdays we look at the social system of Islam. Uh, in the Last uh, weeks, 
four few episodes we've been looking at uh, recreation and how important it is to the marriage of family institution and today we want to we are looking at the benefits of uh, recreation to the family members we looked at the kids it's very important as uh, members of the family to provide an environment provide opportunity for the kids to explore and uh, the aspect of us giving kids phones, movies, we have noted is something that affects their brain development and they, they grow up when they are not creative enough. And indeed we have seen that those that have interacted with their kids giving them phones a lot, you have witnessed and experienced it. Uh, so before we went for the break with our guest here, we were looking at um, the fact that Islam is a complex way of life. Therefore, if you put your kids on a continuous uh, program of studying the Quran, in terms of memorization and understanding the content they are in, you're going to uh, achieve a holistic development of the brain of the child, right? What the storybooks they would have read about, the materials they would have read about in other uh, literature, if they read the Quran in those earlier uh, years of their development, then you can be sure that they have a holistic and balanced approach to life. Uh, actually, it also reminds me that uh, the first message, uh, the first message that Allah SWT sent the Prophet Muhammad SAW was a Quran. Read, Bismillah, and love your heart. Understand your Lord and then Mm. The rest of the things will come later. Mm. Uh, well, I was reading a comment on the life of the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and mm. uh, its scholar was asked, uh, "If you want to get a better understanding and appreciation of life, mm. then you need to read about the philosophers mm. back in the days, mm. and they mentioned Aristotle, mm. Socrates, mm. and others." Mm. And the scholar replied and said. I don't need to read Socrates and Aristotle. Mm. If I read Muhammad Salah mm. it suffice for the rest of them because what I know is that whatever those different uh, philosophers mm. came mm. with, mm. they were just making a reading of the Quran and mm. the message that mm. was contained in the Quran. And indeed, so if you've not created time for the Quran in your family, mm. uh, you have you're missing out you're on, missing out on, on, on some on, important, on, on aspect. important mm. aspects, especially mm. as regards balancing the soul, mind, mm. and, and, and the body, body. because mm. it is what we are looking at here. Mm. Uh, I'm um, going to request our uh, a producer in the studio to share with us uh, this um, uh, this a, a, a diagram that indicates what you should be doing at age specific. Mm. Yes, for the kids, and uh, they are mm. telling us what does your child want the most from you? Mm. Between zero to five years, the okay, the, the screen was cut off. Mm. I think it was hugs and kisses, then mm. playtime, nurturing, mm. and then attention, mm. right? Mm. I think this one was uh, being compact and attention. Then six to nine years is talking and listening, talking and listening. play and fun time, answers mm. their question, participation and involvement in their lives. Mm. Ten to to twelve support mm. and guidance and pro approval and encouragement. In other words, they, they mm. should be told to ask for permission. Good, yeah. Right? Reason mm. for rules. Mm. Why are you doing this, mom? Why do we do this? Why mm. this? I think that is the age of understanding. Then thirteen mm. years to eighteen mm. discussions, discussions, directions. Mm. I think so as guidance, mm. guidelines but not rules, something mm. like that. Uh Allah so mm. it is just to you can make a word or two on mm. what we have uh, shared on the screen and then mm. we see how it translates into mm. the second aspect of uh, recreation. Okay, generally, according to what you mm. see on the screen, mm. uh, the, the Prophet Sallallahu so, so mm. told us that basically the ages between five, he mm. said five to seven, mm -hmm. Those, that's basically an age of playing with your child, mm -hmm. hugging them, mm -hmm. because he even showed us an example mm -hmm. in one hadith where he, they told us that he played with his grandchildren, mm -hmm. Hassan and Hussein. Hassan and Hussein yes. So, so much relating with the children, answering their questions, they are so inquisitive and uh, anxious, they ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. during this stage. You've got to answer them mm -hmm. because you're building their, their critical thinking. So. 
answer them appropriately. And between six to nine, we are take, we are seeing talking and listening uh, play. Mm. This is still uh, talking and listening to your children, mm. and also guiding them slowly in a humble manner, because this is when they told us to order them to start praying so, yeah, start at, praying. Seven. at seven. seven and when it reaches ten, ten yes. you can get out a stick if they don't mm -hmm. uh, comply with what you've been mm -hmm. seeing them mm -hmm. showing them but basically during these ages we can say zero to ten mm -hmm. you also it will be so much an age of modeling yeah, modeling because most of the things they are going to do you're not going to tell them but they are going to see you living in that life you mm -hmm. want them to live mm -hmm. so when they say you're going to pray they will follow you say you're going to uh, saying the other kali, they will follow you. Follow you. Mm. So it is so much an age of modeling, and then from ten to like fourteen, yes. it's an age of explaining the rules, putting the rules, uh, teaching them to ask for permission, and also explaining the rules. Mm. Because a good mm. parent mm. leader mm. is not the one who enforces, who is so authoritative but he's the one who is influential and also explains their rules their to, their rules children. to their children. When they do, you tell them don't go out at night, tell them the reason as to why. Because if you don't tell them, when you're not around, they will go out. They'll because out. they don't know why they are not supposed to do it. Mm. So, and then <coughs> from 14 and above, let it be an age of uh, discussions. You, you, you are like adults now. Mm. And this age is so dangerous when you don't bring them closer they are going to get rebellious and mm. do things and go astray okay. because this age the brain <laughs> the brain of children in these ages they don't yet work with logic they don't use critical thinking but they work so much with emotions, with emotions. yeah okay so thank you've you got to much. bring them closer thank mm. you very much uh, dear uh, guest uh, mm. so viewers we are with the madam teacher Mm. Uh, mentor, coach, mm. Janet Yahaya Nagorola, who is mm. the CEO of Mind Your Child and member of mm. the executive committee of the Women's Department of Al Hidaya Foundation. Mm. Um, so, Hajat, mm. last week when we were here, you told us there, there was an, uh, there's a program the mm. women had organized as a, mm. an activity for to, to bring together mothers, uh, mm. people, women specifically for an outing activity and you told us some of the benefits that mm. would accrue mm. and that would come to them mm. the relaxation and the rest now last mm. time we didn't we didn't look at the benefits the men mm. the husbands would mm. get from mm. this outing mm. so as they are going to share with us the the flyer again mm. why, why would a husband mm. send his wife out mm. To go for a recreation well knowing that okay the we, last time we talked about the gender specific uh, mm. it was gender specific uh, recreation mm. and we said in the activities you do you mm. make sure the activity is fully for ladies uh, for ladies and such that mm. when they want to have their space they are mm. there mm. and we also said some of the roles that you would have with the outing mm. now this husband here what benefits would he find or get mm. by sending his wife okay <coughs> when a husband sends his wife there, mm. first of all, as women, yes. we are like the engines of joy in the family yes. because we are the ones that bring the, the children, the husband, and all, all everyone around okay. are together. Mm. So you cannot give what you don't have. Yes. When you're not happy as a mother, mm. everybody you cannot give love to the people around you. Okay. So when a mother is overwhelmed with the uh, duties of, of handling children, handling mm. family matters, mm. and then she goes out to rejuvenate, mm. to become, to relax, to get afresh. Mm. When she comes back with a relaxed mind, there is a way she is going to come back fresh okay. and everybody in the family is going to gain from it from mm. it mm. because mm. i hear men so much say that what all they want from women is the peace of mind of course you okay know, no no man would <laughs> want to go to a, a house where he's going to come by himself yeah by a a tough place, yeah and a long list of <laughs> demands Demand. you know what it's not I this, want this, this. And this, and this yeah honestly so, you would want to from that house yes so there is a way she is going to refresh mm. and he's going to give love to everyone ar around them mm. around them because she also feels it inside uh, herself mm -hmm. she has um, she has uh, put off the baggage 
the thoughts mm. the, the 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 thoughts she had on her mind she's refreshed so this way the man is going to get the peace of mind and mm. also the children okay. because i also hear that when a woman is so much okay when a woman has uh, problems uh, around her maybe or in her marriage mm. or with her spouse or at work mm. everyone not only the woman she's going to pass on the trauma to the children mm. around her because you you will find a woman beating children so much so abusing much. so much because she is troubled somewhere mm. so the, all this peace mm. the whole family is going to gain from it so i think it would be advent advantageous to a man to send his wife because you're all going to get peace of mind in the house and also you're going to get uh, that uh the the stories she's going to come back with mm. because uh, uh actually i think what you're trying to write about is that mm. when this lady if she you know there's the summary to that attended one time mm -hmm. and there was uh, this family where the man and woman they, they were talking at a distance mm. like they, they didn't have that time to talk and to talk they, closer they, mm. but i think now when this lady goes out and then gets mm. that time to open up to some of the friends mm. I, I think she also go, comes back as a a person that is uh recharged as a changed as yeah a changed as a changed person, person who can even now have Look something to talk about mm, yeah. that she never had in the past. Yeah, when your mental state is okay mm. and you you relieve your emotions, there is a way you're going to come back a changed person because some of the things we do there in the uh, in our activities, mm. we do mindfulness activities, okay. whereby uh, it is going to give this lady a chance to to b uh, lower her baggage, mm. to to relieve her emotions. We are going to do exercises like uh, mindful exercises like breathing, like meditation. Mm. So there is a way she's going to relieve all that stress. She's going to go into a mood of connecting with Allah, a mood of gratitude, a mood of... Uh, now, if she gets into that state of grat gratitude, mm. she will even be grateful to her husband. Wow. Because if a woman is so much, has so much... Uh, emotional distress mm. she won't even see the good things before her okay. these are women you're going to find asking husbands that what have you done for me for the 10 years we've been together so, yeah for the <laughs> five, 15 yeah. years of marriage yeah nothing that, you've done for me <laughs> that is special. yeah that is special she won't be seeing anything because she is emotionally so distressed husbands, uh, mm. if you want to reduce on the questions being mm. asked of what good you have done to the wife mm. perhaps give her the opportunity to go and uh, be part of this yeah she and will come back and narrate the experiences for years and years to come yeah i'm, I'm told as men we Which, uh, are supposed to always do something special mm. th that the ladies should uh, keep on remembering about us mm. so th th could this be one of the opportunities we have mm. to do something special for them for them, mm. yeah, by the way, because you realize that many people, many families don't know what it means balancing up time mm. for work, for family, family and for recreation. Yeah. They don't know what it means because, as you said earlier on, some people have grown up in such uh, families whereby there was no recreation at of all. Course. A person, all they all know, the yeah, the all they know is work to, play, to home, work to school. So you're going to get that time knowing that you have to balance up and this is when the gentleman is going to get the opportunity of giving something to your wife mm. which she's going to be grateful for because if someone facilitates you into going into going into such an activity mm. there is no way you're going to forget that about that person okay so you know yeah. today we are talking about the men now oh, you know i mm. have two issues one is mm. um oh, oh, talk to the men out there what are some of those special things in addition to paying their fifty-five thousand that mm. you've indicated there mm. what special other things should they add on to as additives to mm. for the lady to have a nice time out with mm. uh, colleagues yes yeah as as a gentleman yes as, first, the, as the husband as, as a husband mm. first of all uh, besides uh, the 50 shillings 55. maybe 55 mm. Maybe when you have some extra money, you could still take on this opportunity. And mm -hmm. then you're like, maybe I can buy her a dress for that day, mm -hmm. uh, a, a hijab for that yes, day. So, so you don't have a special <laughs> dress. 
<laughs> but it's ah. not it's not compulsory okay. but we are seeing it as an, an opportunity for mm. giving yes. because do you know that people even forget <laughs> <laughs> and do you know that life. people forget about these things of course because we, we have a lot on our minds we have a lot of bills school fees, we have school fees we have rent we have but this water bills one of it. yeah so, so this one is like a reminder it's mm. like an opportunity for you to be like now this is time to give to my wife okay. maybe you can buy her a dress you can give her some extra fee mm. because to in buy there ice cream. to buy ice cream i'm told the the venue you're there going is, to there is actually, boat ride, our, our, riding, our, our, riding. Our, Mm. Our, our, our studio person is going to press the, the small clip on the venue. Mm. I'm sure the venue has got uh, water, water duck, mm. duck ducks, meat. Yeah, yes. Mm. Is it also called chicken? <laughs> duck chicken? <laughs> 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 so, so it will be uh, mm. not good it, It's not on our lady. menu, but she can say that maybe that today you want to I, eat I the duck. The the, duck. Yeah, she can. I need ice cream. I need this. Yeah, she can use that extra fee. It, so it will not be men, so big. Men, mm. gentlemen out there, paying the fifty-five thousand is a given, mm. but uh, now some extra money mm. is if what you have. she's emphasizing yeah. that uh, it wouldn't be nice for. Mm. You, our, our wives to mm. go there and then they should uh, wait for the menu prepared. Mm. They would need also to have an ice cream or a chapati mm. just to have a feel of wha what is mm. outside. Menu yeah, I would also remind these men that even you're going to see a changed woman as in spiritual development mm. because when this uh, way when we connect with nature there is a way we contemplate on the greatness of Allah. Mm. When you see the waters, you mm. see the trees, mm. the forest, there is a way you contemplate on the greatness of Allah and also you go into that state of uh, meditation, yes, thinking like, uh, but how did this come into existence? Allah is great. Mm. So you will find that a woman who has not so much been uh, spiritual maybe, you're going to see, start seeing uh, a strong lady in terms of spirituality. So men we, we are going to get a lot of things out of this the increase in self-esteem because some women are always at home they don't have time to go out they don't talk to people mm -hmm. so there is a way she's going to get that higher self-esteem yes, when yes, she yes. plays the games when she socializes with even the problem solving skills mm -hmm. because we are going to be in teams whereby we are going to be given different tasks mm -hmm. so there is a way we are training the brain to solve problems this, some days men say that uh, women don't add on them. Mm. Now you're going to say change the women who have that creativity and innovativeness. We're going to come with <laughs> a change the mindset, a growth mindset from okay. a fixed mindset. Thank you very much. Now mm. as we are winding up, I want mm. you also to help us talk to the, talk to the ladies. Mm. You know ladies, you always want to pick one or two new things I want to bring the home. Mm. There's a man I know, mm. for him he stopped his wife from attending seminars, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Because when you go there, mm. you now get a story, mm. which, which is going to last about 20, 30 minutes. Mm. And that story is going to end up bringing problems at home. Mm. Can you talk to the ladies mm. uh, how they should keep mm. within their bounds mm of making their marriages happy instead mm. of coming with a lot of statements and mm. what is from her. Mm. So from how home. best should this lady mm. uh, come back? She has imported some ideas or information or mm. whatever. How mm. best should they now bring them back to the husband or to the kids at home? Mm. Okay, first of all... Not to bring trouble and cause mm. commotion in the home. First of all, in our environment, mm. there, are, there are some things you're not going to expect. Yes, For please. example, don't expect uh, those uh, hala, uh, haram, maybe, stories, mm. haram uh, activities like the music. Are you also going like to contrast who would get a kakona and begin jazzing? I don't think you'll get the time because <laughs> uh, because our activity the good thing with our activities mm. that w it's aligned we have an aligned hey, program it, it for is, the day uh, it, activity it, it, to it activity a belt from here yeah. to this, this, this. at each and every time there is something you're supposed to be doing mm. so there is a, there is no way you're Probably going no to time get for uh, idleness. yeah time for idleness it's going to be a very busy day because we want to maximize this time to we are together okay. yeah we shall have the aerobics activities the mindfulness games eating jazzing so i don't think there will be some time for lugambo mm. i don't think and also uh, i would like to talk to those ladies so out the ladies there who are coming that yeah. yes 
that the environment you're coming in does mm. not entertain uh, uh, the, the such uh, maybe vulgar stories, uh, mm. stories from your bedroom. Mm. Or so there, because we have, uh, I told you we have professionals. Mm. Like in Al Hidaya, we have professionals. So now the speakers you're so going to bring to us are those who are supposed to keep these ladies on track of how yeah. to better the marriage instead of dressing yeah. the marriage. Instead of distorting because them. Many because times we've mm. seen ladies when they move out, they come back, my God, and she mm. has got stories from about five different Comparing ladies. herself to the, <laughs> the what the other one was hey. putting on. Uh, um, uh, yeah. So in case I would advise you lady out there, in case you have any marital problem, mm. you could uh, come Dr. to one of where well, yeah, one of to one of us. The organizer. Yeah, so that we can organize for you a session maybe mm. because we have all these professionals in our Hidaya and be it about children, be it about your marriage. So we can get a special day for that, not sharing it with each and every one so because dear lady, mm. I want to re-emphasize re re the point of our guest that please, mm. when you go there, at least try to mm. maintain the program uh, line up. And second, if you want to converse on something that is so special, so mm. inside of you that is so touching, mm. then the best way is to look out for the organizers. And uh, of course, organize the organizers themselves are counselors. Mm. And or oh, if it is so burning an issue, kindly mm. ask for. Mm. The, of course, the organizing team will be introduced mm. to you, and then you should be able to talk to one of them, mm. such that they will lead you to a counselor, and mm. you share, you know, sharing everything. Mm. And even Islam is very particular on that. You, mm. We are not allowed to share mm. uh, family-based mm. information in the public. The public. Mm. But mm. if you share it with the counselor, counselors mm. are professional enough, they know when mm. and how to mm. uh, respond to the mm. queries that are given. Otherwise, just bluffing and talking to everyone that you find mm. it will be destroying your own self as opposed to mm. the one you're sharing with so mm. Hajat, as we are winding up kindly again share with us the contact of the person mm. and mm. the person that is in charge of us and you're going to tell us also briefly on uh, mm. what kind of organization in terms of uh, meeting point mm. and uh, places where this people should mm. meet up as we go for the outing Mm, okay, the, uh, thank you so much. The contact, pa uh, contact number, in case you want details about the outing, is 0701-67-67-6700. Uh, okay. uh, I read again, 0701-67-04-17. Okay. About uh, about the converging program, as in where we shall meet, we have we shall meet. Some group will meet at Kabule, at Zainab Baby School. Baby school. Mm. We shall have a meeting a point there, and the time is strictly seven. Seven oh, a.m. Yeah, seven a.m. Allah. Allah. So uh, we shall be leaving at exactly eight. So you've not mm. given the ladies the opportunity to prepare for us breakfast that day. Oh, the breakfast. It will be their the, day out. Yeah, yeah, it will be the <laughs> their day, day out. out. So it's the man to hustle with that. It's a <laughs> <laughs> it will be. I know by now, uh, ladies uh, must well, have uh, already uh, made preparations because we know. You know, responsible ladies. Uh, this is their responsibility. Okay, and now okay, they know how to do. Yeah, that is uh, the mm. baby school in the mm. park. Yes. Then which other place? Uh, mm. Oh, it is the only mm. central place we are meeting. So far, we have uh, Zainabu Baby School. We are thinking of getting uh, some other meeting center in town. It will okay. be communicated. Okay, uh, sure. Later that's good mm. enough. They have given us the contact the zero seven zero one six mm. seven zero four seventeen. If you mm. want details on uh, uh, further inquiries and uh, help, mm. kindly reach out to the person that is uh, on that number. Mm. Uh, as we are. Signing out of the place, uh, final remark to the married people out there. Why mm. on recreation specifically, as we mm. say now? Okay. It is about 20 seconds. Mm. As we sign, sign out, uh, this is uh, my message to the marriage, married people out there is so much focus on balancing your life because uh, this life, this body we have, is an amana. It is a trust to us by Allah, as uh, as told to us by Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it means we must care cater for the body, so that we cater for the body, for the mind and the soul, in order to make sure that we are strong 
because even uh, people who are strong are the people who are excellent in, in worship. So be, have a strong body, uh, be physically fit, mentally okay, and okay spiritually so that you can effectively uh, carry out your din and also do your other duties. That is balancing work, family, and, 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 and the din. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, dear viewer, we cannot exhaust it further than this. We want to wish you a very fruitful weekend. Those ladies who are going for the outing, it is Sunday, 24th November. A meeting point in the Kavle. Zainab Baby School at exactly 7 a.m. Inshallah, keep the time. Till mm. then, Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum, Salaamu. Eno, yes.